Look, Bumble knows you're exhausted by dating. All the, must not take yourself too seriously, and 6-1 since that matters, and what do I even say other than, hey? <sighs> well, that's why they're introducing an all-new Bumble, with exciting features to make compatibility easier, starting the chat better, and dating safer. They've changed, so you don't have to. Download the new Bumble now. Your brain needs support, and new Ollie Brainy Chews are a delightful way to take care of your cognitive health. Made with scientifically backed ingredients like Thai ginger, L theanine, and caffeine, Brainy Chews support healthy brain function and help you find your focus, stay chill, or get energized. Be kind to your mind and get these nootropic chews at ollie.com. That's O-L-L-Y dot com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 2221. Four Easy Habits to Build Your Child's Self-Esteem with Your Words by Dr. Laura Markham of PeacefulParentHappyKids.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome back for a parenting episode here on ORD. I'm your host, Greg Audino, and if you're new here, each Thursday and Friday, we devote the show to parenting articles specifically, though they are often still helpful for everyone. So with that, let's get right to today's post as we optimize your life. Four Easy Habits to Build Your Child's Self-Esteem with Your Words by Dr. Laura Markham of PeacefulParentHappyKids.com Quote, If you want your children to improve, let them overhear the nice things you say about them to others. That's by Chaim Ganot. We are our child's first teachers. They learn everything from us, what's up or down, red or blue, right or wrong. They believe what we tell them and rely on us to interpret the world. That's hot, don't touch. Now we wash our hands. We can walk now that the light is green. We always, we never, this is how we do it. The sky is blue. So, what happens when they hear, you'd lose your head if it wasn't glued on? That was a dumb thing to do. You drive me crazy. Why can't you? You never. You always. Or over here, you won't believe the day I've had with that kid. He's so irresponsible. She never does her chores without me hounding her. He can't control himself. She has such a temper. They believe it. Even if they don't show it, even if they act like they don't care, on some level our children believe everything we say about them. This could demoralize every parent at times, because we've all said things that we later wish we hadn't. But instead, let's use it to our advantage, and to our children's advantage. Why not leverage our children's trust in what we say to empower them to become their best selves? Our words don't have to be perfect, but what we believe will eventually come out of our mouths. So what if we practiced these four habits? Number one. Empower your child by seeing her best self. Research shows that kids' beliefs determine their behavior. When you observe something positive about your child, tell her what you see. I saw that you got frustrated with your brother, but you were able to stop yourself from yelling at him. Wow, you read that whole book yourself. I've noticed that you're remembering to brush your teeth now without being reminded most of the time. You did your chore with only one reminder. Thank you. You're working so hard on that homework. Notice that these are specific observations about what your child is actually doing, rather than global pronouncements like, you're smart, which aren't provable and which kids may argue with in their own minds. Number two, empower your child by problem solving instead of labeling. If you're offering your child guidance about something, stick to what's happening right now and empower your child to solve it. You always forget to, makes him the problem, and programs him to keep forgetting. Instead, try, it's hard to remember. How do you think you can help yourself remember tomorrow? This acknowledges that he has a problem that other people sometimes have also, and helps him move from being the problem to becoming the problem solver. Just focus on how he can remember this one time, and he'll start to see that he's a kid who can support himself to remember more and more often. Comment especially on any progress in the right direction, even if it isn't perfect. We all need encouragement to keep plugging away towards a goal. 
Number three, empower your child by helping her keep failure in perspective. Children create beliefs about the world from every experience they have. When things don't work out as they'd hoped, they often draw global conclusions. That's why an observation like, I got all these words wrong, can easily become a conclusion like, I'm just no good at spelling, I'm not a good student, I'm dumb. Help your child reframe situations to see that any given setback is temporary, and she has some control over whether things will work out next time. You're really disappointed that you didn't know those words. They're hard words, but it's only one test. We can help you learn the words for next week. What could we do next week to help you remember the words before the spelling test? It's also helpful for your child to see that anything he or she isn't handling well does not need to be a permanent condition. Your power word is yet. So you might say, you just haven't learned to spell that word yet. You aren't as confident a swimmer as your friend is yet. Then give your child as much support as necessary so that she can be successful, which is very different than doing it for her. Seeing that their actions have a big impact on success helps kids try harder next time instead of giving up. And number four, Empower your child by letting him overhear you saying something positive about him to someone else. When you try to convince your child directly, he may resist what you're saying. After all, he sees evidence to the contrary. But when he overhears you saying it to someone else, he begins to believe that it might be true. He was so helpful today. I think he's finding that focusing on his homework helps him enjoy school more. He and his sister are learning how to work things out. I just so enjoy being with him. More and more often, he does his chores without me even reminding him. I'm so blessed that I get to be his mother. Your child believes everything you say about him, and acts on it. What an opportunity. You just listened to the post titled, Four Easy Habits to Build Your Child's Self-Esteem with Your Words by Dr. Laura Markham of PeacefulParentHappyKids.com, and I'll be right back with my comments. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. From the launch your online shop stage, all the way to the we just hit a million orders stage. No matter what stage you're in, Shopify's there to help you grow. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash special offer. Hey, it's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda, you never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, Priceline. And thanks a lot to Dr. Laura for this article. One theme I noticed in her work today was the value of helping our kids to create systems rather than giving them outcomes directly or labeling situations in such a way that doesn't necessarily foster growth. You know, when we help to prepare our children like she suggested, maybe with preparing for a test differently or trying different techniques to become a stronger swimmer, it's a lot different than saying, you're a bad swimmer, or doing their homework for them. This prepares them a lot more for the real world, as they get into the habit of looking for solutions and keeping an open mind and ultimately creating healthy work ethic. If it helps, think about how this looks for you as an adult. For example, if you have a goal to get fit, aren't you much more likely to accomplish it if you have a system in place of going to the gym at a certain time or meal prepping or getting eight hours of sleep? rather than just saying it or waking up each day without a plan. Structures like these need to be the foundations of our goals, and getting into the rhythm of that can start in childhood. So lots to think about today. It's time to get going, though, so I thank you for your time, everybody. I thank you for your time today and every day. I hope you enjoyed this post, and do be sure to come back for another parenting article tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.